Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from NFGC. How's it going? So this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for April the 24th until May the 3rd. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, just a reminder, I am selling my my cards, NFGC cards. Um, so there's 86 cards, 7 Chakra cards, 21 Major Arcana, plus the 1111 card and all of the different uh, elements. There's 14 in um, all four elements. So you can email me at sherry doc at hotmail.com. I might as well I'll give these a shuffle while I'm here. So I scanned in my deck of cards again. Um, so I'm replacing some of them. The, the scans turned out really beautiful. So yeah, like it really sucks that I can't get the detail that you that you see in my painted cards you know no matter what I do whether I take a picture of it or uh, scan it in the details still isn't there but it's getting there little by little I have a, a better scanner that I'm using so about seven or eight cards I guess are are changing a little bit more detail in them all right so for the masculine side so I just did a reading before this personal reading and a really strong message came out during the reading and I think it has more to do with um, people or twin flames that think they are in a karmic partnership and they meet who they think is their twin flame and what I'm feeling in this situation is that they are actually your false twin flame um, you know and you can pick this type of person out because they're ghosting you, they're very arrogant, um, you know, the, they're in the ego, but yet that negative aspect triggers you to awaken. So they are, um, you know, positive in, in that respect. But your true twin flame, you know, is somebody who's with you, who loves you through thick and thin and um, supports you. And, you know, so, you know, you, you may be feeling you know, it's, you know, the relationship's lost a spark or what have you, but, you know, I'm all for commitment and longevity, you know, um, find a way to bring the spark back into the connection, realize that maybe who you're with is in fact your twin flame and whatever energy you were putting into the false twin flame, now put it into, um, you know, the commitment you're in. So, I mean, I don't condone staying with, with people who are abusive. Please remove yourself from that situation. Um, you know, this is for people who are kind of questioning, oh, who is my twin flame? That kind of thing. All right, so I'm, this is John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart, and this one is John Holland's Psychic Tarot. Another message that I was kind of picking up is finally completely cutting your ties with a false twin flame, someone you thought was your twin flame, you know, and completely breaking those bonds, those chains, um, and realizing, you know, how positive it was for you. It's awakened you. Um, you've grown you've discovered yourself as a result of it, but it is a, a toxic uh, energy that needs to be let go of uh, so that your true twin flame can come forward. So this is Dorian Virtue, Romance Angels. Okay, whoa. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. Love yourself first, yes. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I just wanted to mention real quick that I apologize if the camera shuts off. Um, you know, I'm doing a slightly extended reading today. So, all right. So love yourself first. Um, this is the energy that both aspects are going to be in, is focusing on yourself, loving yourself, doing what's right for yourself and not for another person. Right, so that's beautiful. It's kind of mimicking what I just finished saying, right? It's 
instead of focusing that energy on a false twin flame, focus it on yourself, but also send love out into the universe. Um, make your connections, your bonds um, with those who you're committed to stronger. Okay, so what is in the past position for the feminine? Conflict and defeat. So we have the Five of Swords walking away from negative energy. You just, you've had it. You're done. Um, you're not putting up with any bullshit anymore. You, you're putting yourself first. Uh, yeah, you know, it's moving away from darkness into the light. But you, you're just really tired of, of the bullshit. The romantic. So... You know, this could be you putting a lot of work and effort into a relationship, you know, offering your love, uh, sending romantic messages, um, trying to meet up with somebody. And, you know, they're not reciprocating it, so you had enough of it. You're walking away. You're turning that love um, towards yourself. That's beautiful. Past position for the masculine side is New Vitality, Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning. It is feeling inspired, um, you know, being awakened, of, you know, having this aha moment. So there was a activation, a charge, a powerful energy surge through the masculine, um, you know, heightening his awareness, but also, you know, offering this brand new beginning. Queen of Fire, Queen of No Fucks Given. So this could be a water sign, or sorry, a fire sign. This over here could be a water. So we got two fire signs, or two fire energies here. So he may have met somebody who, you know, is very charismatic, very uh, driven. Um, people are drawn to her. So this could very well be the feminine aspect. Um, he sees her with new vitality, new light, uh, but also sees her as an independent force to be reckoned with. Um, and it's like he's playing all the chakras. He's, he's loving himself, um, discovering who he is, but also he's sending out this loving vibration into the universe. And it's almost like he's attracting this, you know, queen of fire to him by matching her resonance the present position for the feminine mental conflict to a sword so another sword energy here um, so she needs to make a choice um, she feels that she can't make that choice and you know she needs to do something about this negative energy that's draining her in the past you know this is her not fully moving on from it she's in the heat of it she feels that conflict and and so it's making her feel as if she can't move forward so she the seven of swords deception so she can't trust um, she feels like she puts so much into a relationship and um, you know whenever she thinks of that relationship it it's it causes her mind to lock up but also these feelings of not being able to trust so two cards actually popped up at the same time. So two cups and then the, the fiery pursuit, which is the night of fire. So it's like there's this conflict here. There's something distracting her. And it, it could either be about the twin flame connection and wanting to move forward, taking control, taking your power back, um, or you know, just feeling like things aren't moving forward with in that regard because of this, these things you're holding on to in the past. But it's a real struggle. This could be you blasting out of that negative energy, that mental conflict, mental prison. What is in the present position for the masculine is listen, the two, uh, or sorry, the uh, high priestess. So, Again, he's playing with vibration, with music, with sound, with light, color, um, really tapping into the universe and using his intuition. But this card says, listen. So he's in a, an observer position, but he's listening to his internal guide as well as paying attention to those around him. 
Two of Wands, Expansion, more Fire Energy. We have a progression from the Ace to the Two. And we got two Twos here. Okay, so there's a lot of synchronicities. Things are lining up. He's, his awareness is expanding. He's, go, he's in a position to listen. So that's incredible. Not only is he seeing things from high position, but also he's expanding internally. He's seeing himself. He's realizing how powerful he is. Okay, so what is at the foundation is you deserve love. You are lovable. So there was this aha eureka moment when both aspects realized, you know what, I deserve love. I'm giving love. I'm not getting it. And look at that hottie over there. I, I deserve that person. The Ten of Cups and, wow, another ten. So synchronicity, there's two tens here. So... One, one. Um, so the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. So he deserves that. He realizes he deserves the happily ever after. That's what he wants. That's what's feeling that him. That's what's driving him is love. Um, at where everyone's happy and at peace. The feminine's bringing in destiny, which is um, seeing cycles, repeating cycles, and stopping those cycles. Um, also, you know, it is a karmic energy as well, which you put out to the universe, comes back to you. So it's a completion of a cycle. Um, that feeling of not deserving love ends for the feminine and she moves more into a positive state. And so maybe that's what's going on here, right? She's in the process of that transition. No more struggle. What is... The feminine bringing into the union the nine of cups fulfillment of wishes so in terms of the union she feels that her wishes have come true um that there is a lot of love there there's growth there's you know a feeling of love of self um but it doesn't feel to be, you know, it's really going anywhere. It's more of a one-sided kind of deal. So the Vibe Tribe and the Nine of Wands. So there's two Nines here with the Three of Cups. So a lot of water and fire, um, feeling wounded, feeling like you want to give up on the connection, but there's this friendship, this Vibe Tribe, this love, this connectedness that keeps her feeling close to him you know it's almost like this tug of war back and forth um, he's my best friend no he wounds me I'm tired I'm exhausted so very split mental state for sure is what I'm picking up no doubt what is masculine bringing into the union is the five of wands challenging times so he's looking at the union from a different light. I mean, they're both kind of facing each other. Um, he has this, um, whatever, shield up in front of his heart. The feminine aspect is a little bit more open. So he looks at this connection. He feels that there is a blockage there. And so he might be closing off to the union. Ace of Swords is actually making a decision to either communicate, to make a decision to unblock his heart yeah here we go the the seven of cups is confusion analyzing choices and i feel he's making a choice to end the confusion to speak up um he realizes maybe he's been guarded uh, he didn't know which direction to choose but we can clearly see there's opening happening, awareness, expansion, playing with the, the uh, ether. What is it you both want is heart-to-heart -heart conversation, yes. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you, you know, it's verification that, yes, he wants to open up to speak. Um, 
you know, but again, the energy is love yourself first, then you can really open up without fear of being hurt, right? So she wants to communicate, you want to, uh, the masculine wants to communicate. The rebel and the king of swords, okay? So again, more very powerful uh, communication cards. This is the ultimate communicator, clear awareness, concise decision maker, maker takes action. So she wants to really sit down and open up and communicate. Now he's bringing in the Knight of Swords, which is the rebel. This is a very chaotic energy. So he doesn't know what to say. He's confused. Again, verification that his energy um, in terms of the union has been confusing. Um, but he really wants to also sit down and, and talk it out. Uh, the Knight of Swords is somebody who really loves those deep, meaningful conversations. Near future for the feminine is the five, or sorry, six of wands, victory and success. Very nice. Okay, so she rises above um, negative thoughts, indecision, and she's in a very powerful uh, stance. So very good. We got the six of swords for making that decision to move on move to calmer waters and she feels very powerful and successful about this decision. The philosopher even more disconnect the the loner um, is someone who enjoys aloneness. They look for answers, deep philosophical questions. So she embarks on a journey of self discovery. Okay, and she walks away from something negative that's been pulling at her. I almost feel like it's something outside of the twin flame um, connection, um, that's distracting her, uh, and maybe possibly she's holding on to that love, I don't know, but there is alone time coming up in the near future for the feminine, for the masculine, we, we got the six of cups, simply love, I actually saw this card in my mind as I was shuffling, I, it's weird, and then it shows up here, so, some, you know, in my deck, it represents reunion, someone from the past coming back. Here we have a, a man and a son who, you know, are having family time. Um, so there's this connectedness, family, support, simply love, right? So either he turns his attention to, um, you know, his family, it doesn't have to be kids, but to his either his immediate family or to the feminine. Okay, it says the the queen of love. So we you know we almost see the king and queen of love um, here with this third energy, which is a union, um, connectedness, right? To make one. Um, yeah, there's a, an emotional reconnection. Fun outcome for the feminine is new beginnings, very nice, taking a leap of faith, more disconnect, more blank slate, more just trusting in the universe. So a brand new beginning, she steps out, you know, in, into the universe at zero point. Very powerful. This is the super conscious mind. Three of Pentacles, firm foundation. So she be begins this new venture, but feels financially stable. That she maybe pursues, um, you know, something that she loves doing and makes money from it. But there's this new start, new independence and freedom that I feel. And this could be her. You know, remember I, I said at the beginning of this reading, the the feminine is really you know, breaking her ties. And you can see that over and over again in this this reading. She's disconnecting from a karmic partner. Um, she believes she deserves love and she and there's this energy of her pursuing it, but she needs to completely walk away, disconnect, break the chain, break, break that bond, walk out that door and discover her independence and freedom. And she feels secure about it just trusting what is the masculine's final outcome his confront is the moon so this is him facing his shadow side um, facing his fears 
um, anything that was left un, you know, undealt with is comes to the surface, and we can see there's a lot of confusion that, in terms of the union, that he makes decisions about and actually faces that. Yeah, grand awakening. So the judgment card, uh, rebirth. Um, the the chains are broken. The bondage is broken. He sees a different reality. He reviews his life. He sees what makes him happy. He reminisces and faces his fears and the chains come off. So both aspects find their freedom. You know, his is more of an internal um, looking at himself, surrendering, seeing what he's, the mistakes that he's made. The feminine is walking away from negative energy, negative thoughts, even maybe a karmic partner. This could be the same thing, a karmic energy, but I don't really see that. I see this more of a wanting to reach out, reconnect, but having to face his fears first, you know, take away that shield. The feminine, there's a lot of love, but she feels lost in a cycle that she wants to break out of, and ultimately that's what she does. She takes that wand, she, you know, she's like this child reborn, both rebirth as a final outcome that's absolutely beautiful because that's what I was definitely sensing um, when I started the reading okay so what's at the heart playfulness nice to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine so in order for you to feel that playful um, gentle innocent energy you must love yourself you must feel safe in your own skin and then you can truly love another, right? And so that's what I feel, you know, this bond, this connectedness, this love that she can't fully let go of, um, you know, that friend energy is, and he, he's also reminiscing as well, that friend, that innocence is definitely there at the heart and it's vibrant, alive, innocence. I'm going to pull one card each. But he's being closed off with the Four of Pentacles. And then we've got that Nine of Cups again. You know, feeling like her dreams are fulfilled. Um, feeling this playful energy. He feels it also, but he's closed off to it. Ultimately, he realizes what he's been projecting out into the universe. Not this open, loving person who is reciprocating this love. Um, you know, it is closed off. Yeah, but that's what he's awakening from. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull two final cards. Can't believe this video hasn't shut off yet. I have a feeling it's going to do pretty soon. Actually, that's caught my attention. So this one for the masculine and then this one for the feminine. Okay. So mermaid, mother, and child. And it's in reverse. And then, oops. And the feminine got... Autumn Mermaid. Yeah, okay. So, you know, feeling like things have ended, um, you know, transitioning into a growth phase, but feeling, you know, a loss. And I'm not sure what this one is in reverse. So let's read his first. So 33. Okay, so please tell me, Mother, what shall I become? Who should I love and lose before my life is done? Help me understand, Mother, how to lead my life. I need to know before I become a weary wife. A young mermaid child shelters in a calm cove with her mother. She is cautious but receptive to the words of the sage advice bestowed upon her. Okay, so upright, it is heed maternal advice. In reverse, it is someone needs wise counsel. A younger friend, colleague, or relative is in need of your advice. Open your eyes to the need of those around you. You will find the one in uh, you will find the one in want of assistance. However, be careful of what you advise, as he or she is very likely to take your advice and hold you responsible for the results, for good or for ill. Okay, so I see him considering, you know, uh, making decisions, following his heart. Um, and opening up and so it's like you know the universe is, is telling you you need to open up and to 
communicate, ask for advice, have that heart-to-heart -heart communication, but there's deception around it, not knowing if you can trust. Okay, and 31. For the feminine, she got <clears throat> Autumn Mermaid. As Mother Nature sheds her autumn frock, preparing for her snowy cloak, she casts away the finery of handsome maple and hardy oak. As seasons change, so much must I, subject to climes, extremes. Yet I cannot help but long for warmer days and sunny streams. Yeah, okay, warm, wanting that love, that connectedness, but feeling disconnected. The melancholy mermaid, deep in thought, lies in a pond beneath a sh shedding tree in autumn. She weeps gently as the leaves tumble down, a sign that cooler temperatures and less vibrant times are ahead. So the meaning is natural change is coming. <clears throat> There's that destiny card. Change is inevitable, and, and I felt you were in that transition. We are all exposed to cyclical patterns of nature. At times we rejoice, at times we buckle down to prepare for harsher weather to come. It can be easy to swallow, to wallow in self-pity, pining for warmth and of lighter days. But colder, darker days will come, and it is important to brace yourself for them, but also to embrace them. Not only embrace yourself for them, but also embrace them. Be prepared for a natural change that might seem negative on the surface. If anticipated appropriately, this change may be a pleasure to, when embraced. Each season of our lives brings joy, sorrow, new activities, and duties. Preparation is key. Look ahead to what nature is bringing you and busy yourself with plans. Okay, so be prepared. Some change is coming. You will hear the horn, this, you know, the, the trumpet call and walk away, moving to calmer waters. Grab your freedom, your independence, and it's all about self-love, right? And for you, you need to reach out, open up, uh, face your fears, see yourself for who you truly are, and awaken to that. All right, so I hope this helps. I'm sending you guys lots of love. Cheers.